Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So your Comet K 2024 online counseling process has already started. So in this video, we are going to discuss a very important topic that is the total fee payment information and the refund and forfeiture policy. Okay, so this is very important to understand so that you don't waste your money and you can take right decisions. So you should know all the rules in which case refund will be there, in which case refund will not be there. So please watch the complete video to understand in detail. Okay. So let us start with this. So first of all, uh, the fee structure, if you see the total fee is dependent on the college and the course, right? So in the same college based on different courses, you will have different fee structure. Okay. Now the total fee includes tuition fee and other fees per year. So your fee will have two categories. One is your the tuition fee and the other fees. Okay. So now apart from this, the university, apart from this, the following fee will be collected at the college level. So colleges providing special skill lab facilities may collect rupees 10,000, 15,000 and maximum of rupees 20,000 per student per annum depending on the facilities provided by the institutions and approved by the VTU. So you have to understand that there are three types of uh, fees that you have to pay. One is your tuition fee. Another is the other fee. And apart from this, based on different different colleges, there can be an extra amount of 10,000, 15,000 or 20,000 for different facilities like labs that will be provided in your college, right? So it can be any three of this value, okay? Now there is another also university fees also is applicable. Now in case of accept and upgrade, okay, or reject and upgrade candidates, the total fee paid at the time of decision making will be adjusted to the total fee applicable for the college. So when you are doing the choice filling after the first uh, allotment of seats, if you are accepting the seat and upgrading it or you are rejecting the seat and upgrading it, okay, in that case, you have to make the payment uh, of the fees you have to make and the whatever is the total fee that will be applicable that you have to adjust it. Like suppose, for example, if there is an increase in the total fee payable at the time of decision making, okay, so if there is some increase in the value that you have paid, then the extra fees will be have to be paid by the candidate at the time of their decision making. Okay, So whatever extra money you have to pay, you have to pay at the time of decision making. Now similarly, if there is a decrease in the total fee payable at the time of decision making in the subsequent round, if there is decrease in the fee, then the excess fee will be refunded by Comet K after the completion of the counseling process. I hope this is clear. So when you reject and upgrade or when you accept and upgrade, upgrade you have to pay some amount the, uh, when, the, when the next college is allotted to you, in that case, you may have to pay the extra fee. If the new college that is allotted to you is having less fee than the pay, the fees you have paid, then the Comet K will refund you, but at the end of the counseling process. Clear? Okay. Now, coming to the next one, details of fee structure. So, the upper limit of annual tuition fee as agreed between the state government and the association of colleges was 2,44,372 per annum or 1,73,936 per annum, whichever was opted by the respective institutions. So there are these two values, but here you have to remember, okay, the fee amount mentioned above is for the year 2023 and 2024, okay, this year the fee details for the current year that is 24, 25 will be updated shortly. But from this, you can have an idea what can be the range of the fees. Okay. So there are two values. One is 2,44,372. Another is 1,73,936. So based on whatever the college have accepted. Now, here we can see refund and forfeiture of fee. So rupees 2,000, that is, and the convenience charges paid at the time of counseling. So now that is the first step online registration and counseling uh, like document verification at that time you have to pay rupees 2000 for registra uh, registration and entering the counseling process. So that 2000 is non-refundable under any circumstances whether you get a seat after the counseling or you don't get a seat this 2000 rupees is non-refundable okay that 2000 rupees will go whether you get a seat or not. Now coming to the next one if a candidate wants to cancel a seat during or after the seat allotment in round 3, entire total fee paid by the candidate will be forfeited and he or she may be required to pay the prescribed penalty additionally. So if you are cancelling any seat after round 3, okay, if you are doing round 1 and round 2, there will be refund, we will understand that process. But once in the round 3, your seat is allotted and you are trying to cancel that seat, in that case, whatever fee you have paid, that will not be 
refunded and also you may have to pay some penalty for that ok. So, now we will understand in detail the different situations and the refund policy of the total fee in which case you will get refund and in which case you will not get refund. This is very important to understand so that you do not waste your money and you can uh, like get the refund if you are cancelling any seat. So, first of all accept and fridge at each and at end of the each round ok. So, whenever you are accepting any seat ok whether you got a seat in the first round, second round or third round you have accepted the seat then you have to pay and that fee is non like in that case there is no refund applicable right because you are accepting the seat so you have to pay the money for that. Now, coming to the second one candidates exercising the option of reject and withdraw in round 1 and round 2. So, for example, round 1 you got a seat and you want to reject and withdraw from the counselling process or in the round 2 you got a seat and you want to reject and withdraw from the counselling process. In that case, the total fee paid is refundable. So, remember this fee when you are withdrawing in round 1 or in round 2, these two you have to remember it is applicable round 1 and round 2 only. In that case, the total fee is refundable as applicable to the college and course allotted. So, whatever you have paid, it will be refunded. Convenience uh, fees are not refundable. So, whatever convenience charges you have paid except that the rest fees will be refunded to you. Now, the third one is reject an upgrade candidate of round 2 who did not get any seat allotted in round 3. So, now suppose round 3 you got a seat and you rejected that and you chose to upgrade the seat ok and but you did not get any seat in the round 3 ok. You went to round 3 but round 2 you have already rejected and you have upgraded it and you did not get any seat in the round 3. So, since you have rejected your round C, round 2 seat is already gone and you did not get any seat in round 3 also. In that case also your total fee is refundable as applicable to the college and course allotted right. So, they have to understand. So, first uh, you can understand first if you are accepting and freezing it definitely there is no question of refunding because you have accepted that seat. Second point if you have rejected rejected the seat and withdraw in round 1 and round 2 then also your fee will be refunded except the convenience charges. In the third one if you have rejected and upgraded the candidate of round 2 who did not get any seat in round 3 in that case also your fees will be refunded. Now, the fourth one reject and upgrade candidates who clicked on exit after round 2 phase 2 allotment to exit the counselling process. So, the students who have exit who have clicked on exit and have been uh, removed from the counselling process, they came out of the counselling process. For them also total fee is refundable as applicable to the college and course allotted ok. So, if any student after round 2 phase 2 decided to exit from the counselling process, for them also the fees will be refunded. Now, coming to the fifth one during or after seat allotment in round 3, this is very very important round 3. If in the round 3 you are rejecting any seat or you are cancelling any seat in that case the there will be no refund and the entire total fee paid will be forfeited ok. So, whatever fee you have payment uh, you have made there will be no refund and the total fee will be kept by the comment game right. So, in that case you have to be very careful if you have reached the round 3 the only option is either you have to accept the seat or you have to leave the money ok. You will never get, get back that money which you have paid and if you have come to the round 3. Now, next one candidate cancelling the seats in the round 1 and round 2 seat cancellation period. So, if you have like cancelled your seat in that case also the total fee will be refunded ok. So, I hope all these 5 points are all the, all these 6 points are very very clear. First is if you accept any seat and freeze it then there is no point of refunding asking for refund. Second one if you are rejecting and withdrawing in uh, round 1 or round 2 in that case you will get the total fee refund. Third one if you are rejecting and upgrading uh, from in the second round, but you are not getting any seat in the third round in that case also you will get the total fee refund. And the D1 if you have like exited in the round 2 phase 2 uh, period you have exited from the counseling process that case also your fee will be refunded. The only thing you have to remember is in the round 3 during the round 3 you there is no refund and the total fee will be forfeited by the comet K. And the last one if you are cancelling any seat that also during round 1 and round 2 in that case also your full fee will be refunded ok. So, yes so this is all about your refund policy very very important to understand. So, uh, take your decisions very wisely understand the complete video understand each and every condition for refund then you can proceed ok. 
so thank you for watching and if you have found this video helpful please subscribe our channel and if you have any doubts please comment down we'll definitely address it